video about Bitcoin Bitcoin hasn't really moved since the last update and as you know in the previous video I already took the direct bullish breakout count of the chart because this is not going to happen anymore not in this structure that I had on the chart of course is still a bullish breakout possible but I'm going to take it off for the chart now and we'll talk about that in a minute I'm again chart is going to be doing what it's supposed to be doing the forecast was for another low we've seen quite a bit of a sale of nothing major I mean it's only like 2% down on this wave count here which I added to the charters more see it more like just an idea and it is valid as long as we're holding that wave too high here at around 28.00 um 60. Yeah above that level this direct downward path is going to be invalidated um doesn't mean that it couldn't go down anymore but the direct downset path isn't validated so the short term bearish count remains the same a wave down V wave up C wave down we could now be in this C wave here to the downside in which we made a wave 1 a wave 2 and yeah the third wave down might be unfolding now but as I said to confirm that we need to break below this 12th of Melo at 25870. So what happens if we don't well if we don't what are the options it could be that this is just unfolding as a larger triangle I did explain that in the previous video already this move up could have just been in a wave a B wave down a C wave up and a D wave down and was A B C D yeah and the E wave up and then and then after the oops it's gone after the last wave up the E wave we would then see sort of the cell of the B wave would then simply be unfolding as a triangle and sit here somewhere now that's one option and not in my opinion not a very likely one at least it's too early to say now that it is an elite wave wave triangle um well the other option is it still goes higher but again I would need a confirmation above 280060 which would be sort of the pivot point yeah the invalidation point for the direct downside path if it goes higher than I'm in a B wave now this could still be a WXY structure where this is in a wave and B wave down and a C wave up I'm valid as long as we stay below. The zooming out below the text wave high here at 29,970 so that B wave could very well extend a little bit higher so it would be quite an aggressive move up most likely so it means if we if we go up now um and break that high it would probably be more aggressive than what I indicated yesterday because yesterday we said if it gives us one more high it may just push to 29,096 maybe yeah and just one more high of this move up but if it pushes higher now it will be probably quite aggressive because it would be a WXY structure but again nothing is going to happen until we break above the 2806 level and um as explained in the last video target for the bulls remains to take out this swing low of the 12th of may at 25000 yeah a 20 um so what i just said is yeah what happens if we break above this wave too high again it would most likely just be an extension of the b wave it would not be a five wave move in my opinion it still would be a three wave move just simply an awxy structure um if we get five waves up though instead of three then again we can talk about the bullish direct breakouts count but we're just not there yet at this stage yeah it's just too early to talk about it um we need to be aware it could happen yeah nothing changed on here this could still be a wave one this could still be a wave two with a third wave in the making but then we need a fourth wave and the fifth wave so it remains shop yeah the shop prepare for further choppy price action prepare for movements that are just sort of unpredictable yeah nobody can um you know nobody knows I ah, you know nobody can predict every single wave especially on lower time frames that's just not possible but um yeah just be aware that um we probably have to look at further choppy price action and maybe we get a bit more volatility in the next few days also due to the um depth ceiling vote and overall as we talked about before we are in an overall bullish scenario in my opinion as long as we're holding the 20 2k level weekend as soon as this overall correction is finished expect a third wave rally to the upside so unfortunately we continue to be in this range not much is happening yesterday basically nothing happened then we saw a little bit of a sell-off but if you zoom out yeah it didn't really make any major progress in the chart we have a little bit more clarity in that the direct breakout path is or has become a little less likely but just be aware of what the relevant levels are which I told you so 28.060 to the upside would unlock higher prices possibly in the first instance to um $29,090 and then to the X wave high of $29,980 and the target for the the bears is to really break below that 25,820 level yeah unfortunately not too much more price actually not too many more on not too much more news going on here a bit boring but yeah hopefully this will end soon and we get back to more interesting price action so hopefully you like the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content then please check out the channel membership thanks a lot for watching bye bye thank you